And we are live from Philadelphia. Send to be a city of firsts. And the first time I saw a spinal cord wrapped around a goalpost was right here at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Oh, shit. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of it. This is your brain, and this is your brain on first. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. Of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time more dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and ten. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time grim. The cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. He ran what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love and they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, 
Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conf one now. And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, and this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Take a punishing hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horses out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Third down, and the punter is warming up. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and a lot. will give them a first down. I don't know if there is, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and six. And the quarterback calls a shot. Perfect pass and the score. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a doctor. 
tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second and one. And the QB might as well just bury him. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. I think I shot my car. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, 
win. Uh, this guy in the field. How? Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, Oh, what a brutal hit! <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. rage, because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brixton. It means he can return it for. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Third day. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and long. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And that'll bring up third down and seven. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Great play by the defense. Results in an interception. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grant. You're right. And it's first. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is this close as the score indicates. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four.
third down and six. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Third down and seven. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. Still might be bricks, but crazy works in the MFL sometimes. Other times, it just comes back with a shotgun. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. down and never going to happen. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and... Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and seven. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. First and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and three. Oh, and that 
quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? Oh, that's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. Second down and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money at him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down and seven. Second and eight to go. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his luck! And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Oh, these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp him into the ground. Second down and more. offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the ref shows some nifty moves and escapes with his life. I got a saw butt that says he's dead next play. I'm not taking that bet. Second down and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. He just got crushed. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was trying. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Second down and seven. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. It's 
First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. And it's first and ten. And he's running and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Brits can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. This is an MFL reminder that humans can dance, but you still can't do the robot. Let's not forget the great misunderstanding and purge of 2071. Hello now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my bro officer calls, I was with you last night, Brett. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Third and four. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. And with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a nicely done for a first down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second and three. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And the Philadelphia Eagles defend their home turf with a win. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I had one.
Worms taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Worms. Mm-mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Okay. Back you. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.